This room reeks of human waste. Looks like a vastly improved version of that Russian scientist Tesla's lightning coil. What? What is this? What could be the purpose? Research, of course. That bastard. <laughs> A key. This room is so, so small, it's suffocating. It's as if I'm being watched. I see you found a way into your bedroom. By the way, in case you don't remember, you were the victim of a hanging. The villagers fell upon you like a pack of hungry wolves, tearing you limb from limb. Not your lucky day. <laughs> Luckily, I had some spare parts that I used as replacements. After all, parts is parts. Thank God. The stench of nitric acid, so thick it burns my nostrils! Potassium nitrate, glycerin, and sulfuric acid? A chemical explosion waiting to occur! If I really am alive, and this isn't the afterlife, then maybe I could clear my name.
could probably get into that room by climbing out onto that limb, through to that window. But if I were stitched together and brought back from the dead, am I truly alive? That lifestone crystal is at the top of this tower. There must be a way to the top. With this crystal, I can create life. The crystal is glowing. Excellent. What did I expect? Did I truly believe that a piece of food would spontaneously resurrect? I am a complete fool. It doesn't matter if I'm alive or if I'm dead. Nothing matters. I just want peace. So tired. I'm so hungry. It's over. I will not go on with this heinous nightmare. This turkey leg shall be my last. The meal of a condemned man. Me. Can I never die? Haven't I suffered enough? 
I truly am in hell. Wait! My food! My God, the mad doctor was right. He has truly mocked God and, and created life. But that would mean I must escape from this castle. But I'm a convicted murderer. If I leave this place, I would be hunted like a dog. <laughs> 